Yo, yeah, what's up, YouTube? So, today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to beat passive players. So, people have asked me to explain how to do this shit for, like, a very long time. I just, like, procrastinated for, like, six months on how to do this shit. But, before I get into this video, there's, like, a key rule that I want you guys to understand. And it's basically that when your opponent is playing passive, quote-unquote, or running away from you, they're not going to be defending themselves. They're more focused on getting away from you. And the main objective is to find out where they're trying to be at. So the most important thing to know is that usually when your opponent's on the edge of the map, right? If he's actually running away from you, he's not going to actually jump off the map like this because that'll just lose him the game. He'll jump back in towards the stage like this, which is just crossing up. So you have to be able to actually read these cross ups. So what you would normally do is you would approach them. They run away. They're on the edge of the map. And then they go behind you. And then you read them going behind you with a reverse attack. It could be like a grounded attack, it could be like a side air, it could be doing like a nair. As long as you're kind of reading them going back towards center stage, then it's fine. You can do whatever attack you want. I've done this in multiple different tournament sets, like when I have to fight against Snowy. Or any kind of player that kind of likes to run away a lot against Megdi, people like that. Now here's a pretty big disclaimer. If you're struggling fighting somebody who's just standing still, that's not really a matter of them running away from you. It's more of a matter of you lacking the ability to approach. So if you want to learn how to approach... Watch the pressure guide that I made. It'll tell you everything you really need to know. This video is mainly about people who are running away. But a basic TLDR would just be like, if you're fighting somebody who's just there and you're scared of them, you don't know how to approach them, just kind of jump really fast around them. Try to force something out of them. Try to bait something out. Maybe if they are scared of you, they'll attack. Try to get a dodge out of them. Just move really fast around them. Just try to see if he gets scared of you. But there's also some times where your opponent won't get scared of you. So you can just walk up and hit them. If they're not dodging, you can just hit them. If they are dodging, you can just punish the dodge after you pressure it. So that's basically like what the pressure guy video is about. So I'm going to show some clips of me fighting some people that are running away from me. And I'm going to show you guys how I do it. All right, so I pressure him first. Then he goes off the map. Then he dodges back in the center stage because he wants to be at the center stage. Nobody actually wants to be off stage, you know? If your opponent actually wants to be off stage, that opens a whole new problem, which is just off stage sharking. So when it comes to off stage sharking, there's only really one or two ways that you could probably deal with it. The first being you could probably just gimp them if you're better than them off stage, but... That's not always the case. That's almost never the case, actually. The safest option is just to edge guard them. So I have to do a mini edge guarding guide. So the most important things to know about edge guarding is what type of player your opponent is. So if you don't know, here are some of the ways of identifying that. So usually when your opponent's aggressive, they'll end up recovering to the stage where they attack, which usually means they'll go grounded. So let's say I'm like an aggressive player. I'll come up like this and just hit them. If your opponent is someone who gets really scared, they're like running away, they're just scared of you, they'll usually recover really high because they want to make sure they don't get hit by you because they're scared of you. They want to have more room to avoid you. If you're edgeguarding them and you don't know what type of player they are, there are some ways that you could tell while they're on the wall. So if you're fighting somebody who's scared of you and is going to recover high, they'll just do it really instantly because there's no way of actually like punishing it. So they'll try to get back up the stage as soon as possible. When you're fighting somebody who's going to recover grounded, They'll slowly inch up because recovering ground is a hard task. It's pretty hard to input. So you have to make sure you give yourself time to prepare for it. So you can tell when somebody's going to recover grounded when they start taking the time slowly climbing up the wall and then they finally get on or they slide up like this with the attack. Your opponent also might dodge into the stage just because they want to get back to the center stage. You can read that just by doing a cross up read and punishing it. Being able to head guard for as long as possible is very important. As long as you maintain consistent damage and you just keep hitting them, then there's no point to stop edge guarding them. Now, there are some tricks that you can counter. One of those tricks being weapon throw. So a lot of players will weapon throw to get back to the stage. So the best way that I would use to counter it is a spot dodge or weapon throw on the ground with the ground and spot dodge. Or you can gravity cancel through it. So let's say I'm fighting somebody on the wall here and they throw a weapon at me. I can spot dodge it perfectly, then gravity cancel down like them. Because usually they'll go back up really fast, expecting me to get hit by the weapon throw, but I didn't. Or you can spot dodge on the ground to do a jump side air because usually when people do a weapon throw, they end up jumping because they want to get out the way as soon as possible. Another trick that people do is using gravity cancels, like long range ones like bow. If you don't want to get hit by bow delight or you feel like they're going to do it, you could just jump fast fall. So let's say I'm this Cassie player. I would just go like this when I'm edge guarding them. So I'd get my weapon and I'd make sure that I'm jump fast fall, jump fast fall, jump fast fall, just empty hopping, making sure that my opponent won't be able to hit me and I can react to it. It puts you in a good position where you can either choose to gravity cancel or you can choose to go to the ground or you can choose to stay into the air and do an aerial or you could read their cross up like that with the aerial. All right, so the second method is when you're fighting people on platform maps that are running away on the, on the top platform on maps like 
I guess Enigma, Grey Hall, shit like that. So for this kind of method, like reading cross ups is obviously just like a key fundamental you would need to know to do to be anybody that's running away. But on platform maps, platform sharking is like a little bit different. So the thing is, there still is counterplay though. So it's just like a little bit harder. So if you're fighting somebody that's on the top platform, just kind of like this, kind of like jumping and fast falling, just kind of trying to bait you out. You have to also bait them out too. This could take a little bit longer, but it's not impossible. So you have to be good at using platforms yourself too. A lot of people hate platforms. They're like, oh, I hate when they run away from me. Uh, they should just delete platform apps. But no, you can just learn how to use them yourself so you can also aggress them because you could use platforms to run away, but you can also use them to aggress because of how fast you can move off these platforms. You could, you could, you could, you could dash onto them really fast like this, unpredictable. So being able to bait out your opponent like this when they're on the top platform and like make them guess when you're going to go up and then you actually are able to dash cancel onto the platform properly and then you mix it up with like timing your recoveries and like or you could do weapon throws towards them being able to just like move around the platform really fast and mix up when you're going to actually aggress them when they're sharking on the platform you'll be able to hit them pretty easily you can bail some dodges all right so as you can see he's just on the platform jumping up and down i'm jumping up and down with them so I'm not really trying to risk it that much, but as you can see, I hit that neutraler on Lance just because I was baiting him. You can also purposely miss attacks to try to get your opponent to get closer to you. This works because I think that they have a punish when they really don't, because they're not in a position to actually hit you because they're too busy running away. But yeah, that's basically it. Please like the video if you actually learned something. Also, be sure to follow my Twitch. It's in the description. I stream on there almost every day, so you can come in there, ask questions if you want to. But yeah, with that, peace.